Hello Toots, welcome to Tector.com. In this video we will understand that about database architecture. Well, so to start with, we will understand the database, type of database architecture. So there are two logical division of database architecture. Two, well, there are two logical architecture. architectures okay so these are two tier two tier client server architecture and three tier client server architecture well so tier is basically the level of divisions so in how many levels we divide entire architecture is termed as tier okay so in two tier we divide in two uh, two levels of organization in three tier we divide in three tier of uh, three levels of organization and then it comes client server architecture so i hope all of you must be aware of this but i'll describe little bit about this client server architecture okay so client server architecture is simple two level of request and respond architecture okay what happens this is client this is server so client makes a request and server gives reply so this is basically client server architecture so whenever something is required uh, some computation or some data anything so client just make request to client is just an interface okay to uh, the server you can say so the client makes a request for computation or for data to the server and server replies back to the client with the computational result or the data well so now we will understand what is our first type of architecture which is two tier client server architecture well so this is basically architecture which is used when the client is running in a system and it makes directly request to a server so the organization will be something like this this is client again this is client this is client so multiple clients are there and this level is of server level okay so multiple server hai uh, this is client 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 these are servers and server maybe this is a uh, file server this is uh, database server this is print server okay so whenever some computation or something is required client makes a request for example for print client makes a request to print server for database uh, client makes request to dbms server so in this case for i mean almost every data uh, database vendors gives you a odbc connector odbc okay odbc stands for open database connectivity and uh, that is open database connectivity well in case of java we have jdbc connector okay so this is odbc connector okay almost all database vendors gives you a odbc connector so using this odbc connectors we make a connection to the client and whenever required we make a request to the server okay and server replies you well so this is all about uh, two tier architecture similarly in three tier architecture what we do let's understand it this is second type of organization this is three tier architecture three tier again this is also client server architecture 
okay so this is very common and especially when you came to tector.com we uh, on tector.com also or almost all web applications follows this standard so what happens we have three level of organization here so first one is user interface okay so this is GUI okay then this is web interface or you can say application server or also uh, uh, let's call it web server fine and the third level is your database okay so this is three level of organization that's why we call it three tier architecture here again the client server uh, method is followed so what it, what is done like whenever <coughs> client makes a request or uh, through GUI you make a request to load a page okay so this is your part here client resides okay this is client now client makes a request to server server handles the request and depending upon the request it makes a request to uh, let's use another pen so you make a request from client clients make request to database server okay for data depending upon the request okay so all the business logic all the codes are kept on the web server now database server replies to the web server and then web server renders those data into the page and it replies back to you as a page or serves the page to you okay so this is client server client server architecture and in case of database this is three tier client server architecture okay so almost uh, all web applications uses this architecture and uh, this database this database level is kept transparent to the user because you came here you made a request but you don't know like from where data is coming you just uh, think that from web server like we may make a request from tector.com itself it is coming so all these processing are kept transparent to the end users okay so we will revise it uh, two tier architecture in two tier architecture we keep, we keep all the organizations on two levels generally JD, uh, ODBC connectors are used to connect with the database to interact with the database in three tier architecture we have three level of organization where in first level we have client or GUI on second level we have web server and on third level we have database server so uh, the client server uh, or the client makes a request to web server web server makes a request to database server for data data re database server replies to client server this uh, database server database server replies to web server and then this web server replies back to GUI or the client server which is rendered in front of you okay so this is all about database architecture hope you understand it if you have any doubt please ask questions in doubt section thank you